Okay, so here it goes. You know I'm going to vent on the dating scene. So when I first got single in my 40s, I was like, if someone came at me that had never been married before, I thought that was a super red flag. Now I'm just like, are they just super driven? At Now at 50, they want to like date and settle down? What is with the men out there that have never been married, never like engaged, none of that, and then just say their career was more important? Was their career more important, or were they players? Was their career more important, or are they mama's boys? I just don't know. Like, I'm still so, like, never married still draws a red flag for me. I'm just going to say it. I mean, if you're looking at somebody that's been divorced for 12 years, that should probably be a red flag to you about me. So, I mean, I'm very self-aware, but... on this. So I'm finally about to go on my first date from the matchmaker. He's an English professor. Um, so, and I'm a writer, so we've got that in common. It's been a long time coming and I think I look okay. And I'm about to go meet him right now. Okay. I am back in my garage. Interesting pros. We have a lot in common. He's articulate. We both like to travel. Um, we both like to read. We both like music. All that stuff. Cons. I can't tell how conservative he is. He said he only got the vaccine because he needed to for work. He said something else vaguely about Trump liking one thing that Trump actually did right. So I couldn't, I couldn't tell and I wasn't going to veer into that. So that's one thing. I don't know if we're going to get along politically. Second thing, I'm just not physically attracted to him. I might give it a second date or we'll just have conversations in between. Let's see. You know, I'm like a lot of you. I'm single. Didn't plan on being, but here I am rocking it. And when I started going out on dates and trying to find somebody, I realized a few things. Um, this isn't my hometown. I didn't go to high school. How do you meet people? Um, I'm self-employed, so I don't have a work place to grab guys. Uh, yeah, so we did the match, we did the plenty of fish, and it was bad. It was really bad. Came down to, do I really want to see these people with my family? Can I see them in matching jammies on Christmas? 90% of the time was, I don't even like what they're wearing now, much less trying to match them. No, not going to happen. Hey, buddy, let me clue you in. So... You know, I like to think I'm a good catch. Um, have my own teeth, got my own job, got a car, got a truck, got a house, take showers, obviously my hair's wet. Um, but yeah, it's hard out there, guys. It's hard. And I got a couple of friends and I go, what, what are they doing? Because one of my friends has been married three times since I've been single. I, kudos to her. I, I can't find anybody for one. I uh, just found another guy. She, her husband cheated on her. He's already married, and she's married. Okay. So, in light of all this, I thought I'd share with you some of the 10,000 really bad dates I've been on. Um, maybe it's me. I don't know, but I'll just share them with you in another segment.